Okay, so if we're at the equator, they say if we if the Earth slammed on brakes, we'd fly off at a thousand miles an hour. But if we're at the North Pole, directly centered, we would barely notice it at all. So you're going to tell me that something only loses about a couple hundredths of a gram in weight when it would fly off at a thousand miles an hour? Put her, put your common sense hat on. And, and think for a second. Think for yourself. Don't think for what motherfuckers are telling you. If I'm going to fly at a thousand miles an hour, if there are slams on brakes, then I'm going to weigh a lot less than a couple hundredths of a gram. If at the North Pole, I'm not even going to fly off at all. My t shirt is green sitting here in Nebraska. But if I move south, it will be slightly more yellow. That what? has about wow. as much to do as what you just said. All right. So is gravity a force or not? Yeah. So, Brian, well, half and half at the moment. Yeah. It's, it, some of them are saying that it oh, is no, a force. Gravity some is an acceleration. We're in another grab, subject you know? right now. Well, you're you're in within that subject. You're saying gravity's a force, buddy. So it seems to be pertinent to the discussion. Wait, so can you can gravity's you, acceleration? Uh, 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 right? I don't know no. what you're doing. Okay, okay, we're just gonna give it over to Witsit. Cool. No, you don't got to hand it over to me. I'm just saying you're talking about electric, like uh, gravity being a force, even though gravity's not a force within your religion. So I'm confused. Right, so we're talking about the emergent properties of gravity and the the fact that it works. If you don't it understand, works. I'm sorry. Pick up it. Yeah, it does. Oh, if good you one, good one. It, Here we up. go with the Nancy at home. Here we go. You're you're hitting home runs already. So anyway, d in order to have emergent properties, hey. wouldn't you have? Well, no, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You just need so, you okay. just need a property well, look, to be there for it to be emergent. The premise of why we I learned a little bit fucking English. You goddamn Nazi. I said, wouldn't it have to exist to have emergent properties? Am I not coming through or something? Yeah. Okay. So, which is it? So, so Space Poe, where uh, Space Poe came and he was like, he wants to understand. We don't need a rehab. Shut the fuck up. Well, this is why we're all you talking about You guys are so this. toxic, man. This is the Jeez. reason why we're in this discussion. Can you get me on band talking about toxicity? So, look, hold on. So, Space, space Poe was like, Space Pope is saying, um,. How does the boat, a giant ship, wits it? If it's relative density, how is this giant ship not sinking? And let him finish. He just, oh, there's no point in letting him turn the time back an hour and a half. Well, I'm just giving the premise so we can get an answer, right? Uh, so a yeah, space boat. Everyone that will come, you will give them the, the premise. Thank you. Well, tell the story about what you had for breakfast this morning while you're at it. Oh, put a sock in it, Brian. So. Basically, what's it? Ships, big giant ships. Why don't they sink? Why is if it's relative density? The ship he's saying is more dense than the water. He doesn't understand why the boat is not sinking. <laughs> okay, there's <laughs> the air inside the ship is is less dense than the water. Oh, I did tell him that. Space Space Pope, come back. Are you still here? Still with us? Oh, he's gone. We did sort that whole argument, and he agreed on it. So. Not sure why we're okay. gashing it. So there's no okay. force that play is what we're trying to establish, right? No, that was not even part of the conversation. They're you apparently it's weren't buoyant. Here. There's a buoyant force, gravity force. Why's everyone so you shine? agree whenever you agree whenever he said that it should sink based on density, he was wrong. I don't know. Did you? Going back you to see. Mr. Brian's video or Mr. Kimo's video. There's yeah, make sure you run, run away. Yeah. It has to be shaken at a certain uh, amount in order for it to do that. So I, I don't think that really explains gravity. To shake it yeah, what it, what it explains is that if, the, if you introduce vibration and it affects directionality, that's perfectly consistent with electrostatics being the primary causal agent of directionality. <laughs> Except right, that's not what it shows at all. You know what? I think you're right, Witsit. I can agree with that, man. Um, it could be the electrostatic yeah, causing the, the vibration. I like that, man. It's kind of merry with you. I like it. Uh, enough in order to cause this effect to happen under a very specific set of circumstances. So you if mean, you're once you if introduce you want vibration. Have gravity, you got to shake us up and down two inches every split second and uh, essentially liquefy everybody on Earth. All right, let me let me break this down for you, okay? So if you're going to manipulate the vibration of something and then it alters the frequency or the uh, directionality, right? Then what that shows is that the manipulation of vibration affects directionality, which is intrinsically tied to electrostatics. So yeah. we know for oh, it's not electrostatics not, has nothing to do with vibration. Not what they. Not it, what it would they have to. Not what they say. Electrostatics. Do you know what statics means? Yeah. Electrostatics has nothing to do with mechanical vibration in the way that you're trying to link it with I electromagnetic think, vibration. 
Electrostatic is there any vibration? Electrostatic is not Please not do this. Stop, stop, no. stop talking like a five year old. You're not smart, bro. Okay, so we know what static oh, means. Yeah, we know. No, you're trying to derail by saying, do you not know what static means? Like, you're really no, smart, not really dumb. You, are, what you say that you think that, that, that electrostatics has time, time vi vi variation, which is obviously not true. Anybody that studied no, electrostatics no. knows that it, like, like, there's no time variance in it. Oh, have you studied it? Yes, I, I have a degree in it, you idiot. You have a degree in electrostatics? I have a degree in electromagnetics. Really? So then you know that electrostatics on the smallest scale is 10 to the 39th power stronger than gravity claims to be, and all molecular and, inter and, all molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are electrostatic in nature, right, Mr. Degree? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you can't think, answer. What happened to I your degree? You mean, what happened to your degree? Do you, do you know the difference between electrostatics and electromagnetics? Do you know how to stop diverting away from point-blank questions? Is all molecular and intermolecular attractive forces electrostatic in nature, yes or no? No. Oh, really? So, so explain how it's not. Well, which ones are not? Okay, it, it, it is the largest significant factor when it comes to like molecular bonds, sure, but it's not the only one. What molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are not electrostatic in nature? Name one. Uh, okay, the strong interaction, the weak interaction, and gravity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, let me repeat it for you. Can you if, I said, if I said all molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are electrostatic in nature, and you said no... Name one of the intermolecular electro electrostatic or attractive forces that aren't electrostatic. Just name one. There are contributions from all, all the four fundamental forces. You can't answer the question, Mr. Degree. In, every, in all, in all uh, uh, intermolecular and, uh, and uh, fuck, I don't have these things all memorized. Molecular, <laughs> all molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are electrostatic yes. in nature. The, 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 are you the greatest saying that we can strong of it? Yes. It, no. All of them also have contributions from the other fundamental forces. No, 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 so so you it. agree you that, that all molecular... Does not exist? Hey, stop interrupting with diversions. So do you agree that all molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are electrostatic in nature? Yes or no? No. Okay, so which one isn't? Okay, so there are... I, I already told you, all of them. All of them are electrostatic the in nature. He doesn't understand. He doesn't the understand. He doesn't understand. Of course, he all, doesn't. all objects have contributions from all fundamental forces. You well, seem to true. still not be understanding. Okay, so all molecular and intermolecular attractive it's it. It's it. forces your statement isn't going to change my understanding no. of your statement. Well, you need to increase your understanding. Do you want me to cite it for you? So maybe if you can read well, it. Hold on, Charlie. What is Charlie? It. What you is know what electrostatics is? What is there? You're, you're what literally is running away. Asking you? Electrostatics does not have any time variations. What are you talking about? Electrostatics, which means static, which means not moving, has, has no time variations. variations. For electrostatics... Does this dude think he has the intellectual high ground right now? I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Charlie, do you want to start the question? Are you not answering your question and you're dismissing okay, his answer? answer? He didn't answer my question. He answered and said the strong interaction, the weak interaction, and gravity. I get okay, that you so don't under. I get that you don't have, They all are gravity. electrostatic in nature. You lose. You lose. Outside it. Outside it from the university. Please tell me the university is wrong. Once Please something reacts, once something reacts electrostatically, it has to have a time variance at that point. And, Please. and he's got he's right. They don't. I mean, yeah, of course. At least look into this shit, y'all. Please but tell me no, how the we're, weak not, we're not even talking about time variance right now. We're not even talking Please about tell that. me how the weak interaction and strong interaction are electrostatic in nature. Are they? Are He's they trying to act are like they... this dipstick's trying to act like well, if, if electrostatic means it's not moving, so you can never measure it because uh, you can never uh, use a time yeah, variance. It's so stupid. It's so it's stupid, dude. Stupid. Elect statics, electrostatics implies no time variation. Why are you screaming? Is it, it is you're a upset? special case of EM? No, you're but the reaction, once electrostatics retarded. reacts, it does have to have a time barrier and shut up, you idiot. Yeah, and with, in that case, it's no longer, t uh, like, given the name electrostatics. When you so first go it into it, hold up, hold up. When you first go into an electromagnetics course, they first teach electrostatics because it's simpler. You don't have to deal with magnetic fields because magnetic fields Bro, are only dumb this conversation only, down only affect you're moving which is question dude you're dumb i'm not the fucking whole conversation i'm down. pointing out that he doesn't even understand what electrostatics is 
that's calmed down. So, With the, um, can you d- give an d- example, hey, Mr. Degree? Of the type of interaction. What? What? Yeah, all attractive forces. So, all... do you mean like van der Waals and hydrogen bonds and things like that? Yes, is that what you're they're all electric. Yes, all those are electrostatic, Charlie. All molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are electrostatic in nature. He, he's not talking about intraatomic forces like the strong and weak force. He's talking about intermolecular forces specifically. Thank you. No, that's why I said Charlie doesn't understand. He still the said, no. He still said it, no. He's so man. prideful. He still no. said no. If you look, if you if you take. Uh, if you take two hydrogen atoms, for example, <laughs> you take their QM model, the QM mo- model of like two molecules, and you plot the potential that they make, meaning the, the classic potential where it's high on the left side, and then it curves down, it curves down, and then it dips, and that's like the state of lowest energy. And then it sort of asymptotes to a zero. That's not a molecular interaction, That is not no, electromagnetic not, only. Charlie, you're yeah, wrong. That's not an intermolecular interaction. That's not what he's talking about. Thank you. You're, exactly. you're right, but that's not what he's talking about. I'm talking about you take two hydrogen atoms. Charlie, listen to what he's asking you. I am listening to what he's asking me. He's talking about forces between molecules, right? Yes, all molecules. I just yes, cited it from say- Purdue. I just cited it from Purdue University, bud. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, so they're which wrong? It, which it, they everybody, wrong? Everybody here is, knows that you take definitions, only the ones that uh, favor your point <laughs> you actually, too okay, literally. So is, is Purdue University wrong, yes or no? No, of course. Well, I don't know. I don't know what it is they're presenting. It depends on how autistically you're taking their definitions, honestly. Well, it's one page. I think you know how to read if you have a degree, right? So it's right there, and I cited oh, what I said word for word in the citation, in the source that's right there in the voice text. You're objectively wrong. This is where you swallow your pride. Just admit you're wrong. So we can move on and maybe have some substantive conversation for once. All molecules have contributions from all fundamental forces. Okay, so sure. the leading molecules. the leading force is electromagnetic. It's not electrostatic. Listen, buddy. All molecular and intermolecular attractive forces. All of them. All the attractive forces within the molecular and intermolecular phenomena are electrostatic no do you agree so no. so so purdue is wrong no when, when you're saying, misinterpreting what they are saying when, when he's saying, in the context of what they're saying misinterpreting it is it when it literally says verbatim when you're all saying molecular all do you guys know what the word all means mm-hmm. when you're saying molecular i knew he was going to say more molecular understanding it i knew that shit was coming yeah, they haven't read it. They don't know the context. They're just going to say that it's out of context because they just can't admit they're wrong ever. All molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are electrostatic in nature. Objectively, I have cited a university that you guys love to appeal to, and you still can't admit you're wrong. I think we ever appeal to this university. Ever. No, just universities in general. So all of a sudden, the citation from a university is no good because you're wrong. Interesting. No, it- with it, you're misinterpreting what they're saying. It's quite simple. Well, go on. What's, oh, really? your, so what's I'm your interpretation then, Charlie? Shut up, you know. This is this will be this is going to be good. This is the actual text, anyway, so that people don't have. To, it's not much on the page, anyway. But that's what Somebody it is. Exactly. Charlie, what's your interpretation? Who's talking? Let me just read it. So there are several it's types of a, there are several well, types of. A, Who's talking? Check, Check it out. There are several types of attractive intermolecular forces. Dipole-dipole forces, London dispersion forces, hydrogen bonding, and induced dipole forces. All molecular and intermolecular attractive Read forces the Read the are, ele- Read okay, are electrostatic in nature. That is, they involve attractions between positive and negative species. The, the, see what? See what? All right, go ahead. <laughs> the strength of these attractive forces vary widely, though... So usually the intermolecular forces between small molecules are weak compared to the intermolecular uh, forces that bond atoms between are together within a molecule. All the intermolecular forces that hold a liquid together are called cohesive forces. So literally it names them, it names uh, types of attractive intermolecular forces, and then it says that all molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are electrostatic in nature. So just say you were wrong. 
I'm not wrong. You're misinterpreting what they're saying. Insanity. What they the interpretation, say, what they Charlie? Say Charlie is by orders of magnitude, the electromagnetic force is the leading factor. And if you use just that, your calculations will be very accurate. That is a non sequitur. That is what okay. they mean. Oh God, your no. favorite word. That that yeah, it's literally a non sequitur. So instead of admitting People that they are all when they're losing a debate, so. well, that's ironic because this dude's getting intellectually decimated live. Okay, so the whole point no, is, I said, oh, yeah. stop interrupting, buddy. Right? Stop interrupting, yeah. buddy. Stop interrupting. You're scared. I know you're scared. I know you're scared. You're interrupting him, actually. No, actually, I was talking, Gamma Panda. I was talking, I and I was about to explain it. I think he was doing his response, and you blasted into it when no, I, you didn't like. Yeah, no, I let yeah. him finish. It's being recorded, buddy. You mean to play what? it through my microphone? I let him finish, and then I said, "Okay, that's a non sequitur." After he finished, and then I went to explain that it was a non sequitur. You, you got your little, got your little circle jerky, watching run away, be proud, no forceless douchebags stop jumping in. in. Just calm down. Stop being. Well, then stop interrupting me. I'm just trying to facilitate a conversation. And no, you you're were, not, because I let were, him finish, am, and then you didn't say shit I whenever he interrupted me. Because you were ranting, and we don't need ranting. How am I ranting if I let him because finish, Gamma Panda? You're talking, you're you talking at three up. times the speed a normal person does. Because very, I get interrupted at very, so much. It's a very loud volume. And there's no need to do that. Just calm okay, down. Okay, so, so you would like to admit you were wrong whenever you said that actually I interrupted him? Of course you won't admit you're wrong, because you're a liar. Well, so, because anyway, I because in my opinion, this he had to finish. He had more to uh, say. He, he did finish. He said what they meant to say was that electromagnetics is way stronger, and if you use that, your calculations will be more accurate. Right. And then Just he made your point. Right. Do you okay, have a so, point? Yeah, that's a non sequitur because I said all elect all attractive forces, all intermolecular. And molecular attractive forces are electrostatic in nature. Now he's saying, well, there's also electromagnetic that's stronger. So you're so are you no, that's admitting not what that I they said. are all Witsit. are you that's admitting they said. are all electrostatic, yes or no? Which it there is clearly also gravity being involved. It, look, even look, though it's what extremely he does. Look weak. What he does. Answer the question. Jesus Christ. I am I am answering the question. You're just not getting the answer you want, and so you're pouting. No. It's yes all, or no. All masses attract all masses. However, at those scales. The most significant force is of electromagnetic nature. But that doesn't mean that other forces are not actually at play. I don't understand okay. this is difficult to understand. It does seem like that's how you're pitching it, though, Wits it. That it's no. just electromagnetic forces, electrostatic forces. And that's nothing. not what I said. That's not what I said. Cool, cool straw man, though. Because yeah. instead of admitting you're wrong, you'll divert, you'll use red herrings, and you'll straw man. Because you can't saying, admit you're wrong. Hold on, hold on. I'm not saying that that's what you said. It does, but it, when you say it the way you're saying it, you say all are, are this, and you don't say anything else, it, uh, the implication, I, I think, is that that's the only thing that's involved. Maybe to people that draw uncontrollably, but in intellectual forum, my point was what I said. So all molecular... You've never been in an intellectual forum. Make so sure you interrupt me, man. That'll make, that'll make the earth a ball, and it'll make you but right don't here. don't say when you're stupid things ball. like that. Okay, so I get it. You wipe the draw off your mouth and listen, okay? So all molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are electrostatic nature. The, the, the reason that I said again. that... It'll the the reason that I said... Make sure you keep interrupting me. That'll make you right. So wipe the drool off your mouth and stop interrupting, Gamma Panda. I'll tell you what, okay. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. One, stop calling me Gamma Panda. One, stop saying wipe the drool off your mouth because you've said that four times in the last 30 seconds. And as for this uh, all molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are electrostatic in nature, I do not know how many times you've repeated that catchphrase. Stop saying it and just talk like a normal person. Fuck wit. Okay, so this is how you know that he's uh, losing and frantically trying to control the conversation again is when he starts muting me and then just monologuing sophistry. So the reason I've had to repeat it over and over is because you guys keep running away from it because you were wrong. So now you want to change the subject and you want to disguise it as to be to something else. You want to say what I really meant. The reason that I'm saying it over and over is because you're ignoring it. The reason that I invoked it is because it is relevant to my point that you guys don't even want to let us get to because you're scared. So we're not talking about electromagnetics, are we, Charlie? No, we're not. No, we're not. We're talking about electrostatics. And you're scared to talk about it. You want to change What's the subject to gravity or to electromagnetics, which is called a non sequitur. It's a difference. Hold on. 
What, what's it? What if, is if the relevance? If you're, saying, if you're saying that I'm derailing, right, by bringing up a different subject, then explain to me how electromagnetics is different than electrostatics. Hold on, no, Charlie, not, no, that's not how this works. That's not how this works. You don't because get to it start could be the same me. thing. Because what if what if they're the same thing and you just don't understand that they're the same thing? Oh, they're the same thing. No, they're not. But I exactly. want you to explain so you to me that they're not the same thing. No, no, we're actually gonna we're gonna until you admit you're wrong, you don't get to start asking me new questions, buddy. Okay, so I made the quotation verbatim. Right, because I have it memorized as really triggers you guys, and you want to call it a script because I remember things. I'm not a dumbass. And so then I had to go cite it. Then you still haven't admitted you're wrong, and now you're trying to say, well, no, they're also this. So if they're also that, that means that they are electrostatic, right? That's what also implies, right? Can you speak? You're not smooth, sentences? buddy. You're not smooth, bro. So when you said they're also this, then that means that you are in it. No, no, don't say this. Conceived. Say what I actually said. Y yeah, you said they are also electromagnetic. That's what you said. No, so, no. I yeah. said that there are also other forces at play, although their magnitude in comparison to the electromagnetic forces uh, at play is much less. So, so in effect, hold on, in effect, we can just say the only ones that matter in most contexts are is just the electromagnetic forces. But that doesn't mean that the other forces aren't there, although their effect is minute. Okay, so when you say also, also there are other forces, then you are acknowledging that electrostatics is there. Yes. So when I said all molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are electrostatic in nature, and you said no, no you were wrong. Yes. No, no. That's, that's the, does when everyone, you, does when everyone okay. here see how dumb hold on, is? Hold on. What do you mean by, by they're electrostatic in nature? Because to me that means... It, they are exactly only right. electro. They are, they are only electrostatic, and they and they made up of nothing else. Well, what he he means is wrong. Only when you say Charlie, 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 says it. Well, what it means is because it says so. It says that is they involve attractions between positive and negative species. Sure. Yes. So you were wrong. No. Oh, do you guys see how dishonest this guy is? Is it just me? It must just be me, because I'm a Charlie, you seem to be agree. trolling here or something. No, okay. With it, I'll tell you what. I will accept your definition of, of this word, and I will say, yes, I'm wrong. Continue your argument. Thank you. Okay, so all molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are electrostatic in nature. So if they are all electrostatic in nature, and on that small scale, it is known to be 10 to the 39th power stronger than gravity, because gravity is scalar, right? So if we cannot... Isolate what do you mean scalar? Correct. Hold on. What do you mean by gravity is scalar? It's stronger as it gets bigger, effectively, in layman terms, and we all know what it means. So if That's we can't not what scalar means, but okay. You're really spiraling right now, buddy. So if we can't isolate gravity because it's weaker than the always present force of electrostatics, how did you isolate and prove it was there? Because there's no Wait. reason to think why it wouldn't be if we can there's, prove that it is larger objects. As we scale them down, gravity gets weaker, right? But it, it scales down to the point where it's so weak that we just don't have sensitive of an, enough instruments. Hell, we don't even have a good theory for it. But we know so it has as to it be scales there. down, it gets weaker. But when I said as it gets bigger, it gets stronger, I was wrong. Interesting. No. You're really crushing today, Charlie. You're crushing, bro. Mr. Degree. Yeah, Bearded Devil, you come in with some ambiguous... I mean, co continue with, continue with the argument, because I don't want to get bogged down in, in definition. So continue with the argument. Go ahead. Okay, so so whenever the whole entire reason this started was because y'all were talking about vibration affecting directionality, right? So, yeah, we have a vibrational pattern that can affect directionality, just like you can demonstrate electrostatics can affect directionality with the Van der Graaff generator, right? So if we know that... Holy all word salad. Things, if we know that all these things are intrinsically electrostatic and that that can affect directionality. And what do you mean by directionality? What direction something goes. Okay. In what con like, what are we talking about when we say directionality? He's coming up with an alternative to gravity. I see. Okay. Yeah. So, and it's the one that we can actually prove is there. We can, it's the one that we can actually prove does affect directionality. And we know that all of the molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are, are this in nature. They are electrostatic in nature. We know that. So we know that it's there, always, intrinsically, hey. and we know that it affects directionality. So how did we isolate the much weaker force?
Wait, oh, so no, where you admitted you oh. admitted that gravity was also there with with uh with molecular bonds. It's just that it's much much weaker. I think I think the the, the, the figure that you cited is something like a hundred and thirty something times weaker, right? Ten to the thirty ninth power stronger. Yes. It, yeah, exactly. if we read and then you said and then you said and then you said as scales get bigger, gravity becomes more and more significant in relation to other forces. Within the paradigm of reifying gravity, yes, that's what's being compared. okay. So then you can't take the macro scale, which is the world that we live in, and then say, "Oh, it must be electromagnetic in nature," when you just admitted that it could be gravitational in nature. No, it's electrostatic. I never admitted that it could be gravitational in nature because that's just a theory that hasn't been isolated and proven, and that's my entire point. I am contending your reification of gravity. I mean, it, it has been, but I don't want to get into this because. Because you lose. No, it's because I know that you won't accept basic facts about reality. Yeah. You still say things like this mass attraction, Matthew. Gravity is no longer considered to be an intrinsic property of matter for over 100 years. So you just don't even understand your own belief system yet. But that makes Wait, me dumb. What did you sure. say? Gravity, gravity is not what? No longer considered an intrinsic property of matter. What are you talking about? Of course it is. Do you understand words, Mr. Degree? Gravity is not an intrinsic part of matter. It depends Property. on what you mean by gravity. Energy is an interesting part, an intrinsic part of matter, and then we know that energy bends space-time. So, so I would say in that way, yes, it is an intrinsic part of matter. Absolutely. Wait, is it the space-time that is the gravity, or is it the matter? Dude, I'm not interested in fudging definitions with you. You <laughs> very clearly know what uh, us as globers and as rational people accept as the explanation of gravity. And yeah, he's curves, I'm not a hold on, hold on. All objects move in geo geodesics in space time, and that energy curves space time. That's it. So, it, right. So, it's no longer considered an intrinsic property of matter. It is an intrinsic property of matter. In fact, it's such an intrinsic property of matter that in this theory, we don't distinguish between energy and matter. They're the same thing. Right, you have to do that. But now, the intrinsic property of matter, right? So, the matter is not the gravity. It is supposedly the bending and warping of space-time relative to the energy based on the matter. So the, the gravity is no longer an intrinsic property of matter. For over It never was, with it. Gravity is not an int intrinsic part. Mass is, which is, quote-unquote, the charge of gravity, if you see it in a more classical, non-GR way. Oh, the charge. So it has to do with charge. I mean, yeah, it's... The charge, quote unquote, of gravity. Yes, that is what. Whoa! That is what this is getting interesting, isn't it? Welcome to flat Earth. Um, I gotta go later. It's really not. It is. Well, we had gravity a great and, opportunity and EM, there uh, to, to to ask him about being on audit the audit. Uh, well, I I didn't watch the video, so I didn't want to. I also don't follow that YouTube channel, so I wouldn't know what the good questions to ask are. So, Jim and I do, so we would have had some questions. The conclusion was that. How does he feel about getting an F? Would have been a good one. Sorry, Jeremy. Sorry. Go ahead. My bad. I didn't realize you guys were talking. I think I got my volume down. So, we've all learned that all intermolecular and molecular attracted forces are electrostatic in nature. Well, no. as long as we go with the de definition that is, they involve attractions between positive and negative species. That's what that phrase means. I didn't hear what you say that. Doesn't matter. We well, were citing it right out of Purdue, I think Purdue, right? Yeah, Jeremy, what do you think of that actually means? What's the outcome? And it's 10 to the 39th power more uh, stronger than gra the so-called so gravity. Oh, no, not That's in on comparison. The, on the on. Not in comparison to, think to about. gravity. Not, not in comparison to gravity, but just the, the concept itself. What do you think that, that the end result of that is? Uh, I, think, I think we all have stuff to think about now that we all know this. And, uh, you know, we should think about it, ponder it, and uh, see what we come up with. Well, let me go boil some water, and then I'll figure it out.
Well, you need to figure out what the shape of Earth is because you don't even know. The, the thing you don't seem to realize is that you telling us that gravity is weak in these in these interactions doesn't remove gravity from the from the question from the equation whatsoever. It's still there. Like it's not it's not doing what you think it's doing. Can you show me it's proof of gravity? Please. If if we're gonna switch to that type of conversation, then sure. But that's not what 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 the problem is here. The problem is he's trying to deny gravity by saying that all intermolecular forces are are electrostatic by nature, and that doesn't disprove gravity in any way. Well, you give me your argument. definition of gravity, so I at least understand what I'm talking, uh, who I'm talking to. What do you mean? Can you give me your definition for gravity? If I, I'm not, I don't want to just take over the conversation and switch over, but that's okay. Right. My, yeah, understanding, I, I can... my understanding of gravity is uh, uh, the way they describe uh, solids lifted up into the air or something that grows up in the air or exploded up in the air, the rate that it falls at about 9.8 meters per second per second. Uh, that, that acceleration is, uh, is the way I describe gravity. So well, yeah, that that the way I describe gravity, that would be like a a subset of of how I describe it. It's a, the effect of what I'd say, right? But as far as causes and forces and all this other shit, it's it's nothing more than a um, basically, it's nothing more than a kinetic energy. You know, you got to put energy into something to get gravity to respond to it. Energy must be put in. The, the thing that none of us can disagree with is that things fall. Things, or when, when I say fall, some things lift and all of that, but what we can yeah, agree but still, with is I, like, I don't like to start normal, in the middle of a, yeah. of a sentence. Like, yeah, but, uh, but normal, things lifted, okay. fall back. So I'd like, I'd like to start from the very beginning. Nothing, things don't fall. Uh, so I'd like to be accurate to say things lifted. Or raised, or something that force is put into. Something forced off the ground goes back down, or something that's forced downward, uh, like underwater, will go back up. So nothing is just happening. Everything is, is uh, balanced in harmony with nature. But if you force a solid up in the air, then it'll, yeah. go, it'll so, go back to balance. So that, that's fine for, for, for like saying why, it's, why the, the thing starts happening. But why? What is actually making it happen? That's the question. Because yes, n like for example, the ball won't fall until I lift it up. But why? But yeah, what, well, what causes pressure? Falling? If I blow up a balloon, what causes pressure? The pressure to re-equalize. If I heat something up, what causes the temperature to go back down? It's just, it's just a law of nature. Well, it's just entropy. the way shit works. That's entropy. Well, then it, though. then it's entropy. Yeah, but, but, but the whole thing is, you, you might say, okay, the ball doesn't fall until it's lifted. And, then, and, and I will agree with that. But what I will say is, the question I want to ask is, by what mechanism is it going back to that previous position? What is the mechanism that makes it go back to equilibrium? What did you call it? Entropy? Uh, I guess I'll have to call it entropy. That's the way you describe it. Okay, so would you then be... Uh, a fan of Eric Verlinda's theory of gravity, where it's all just a, uh, it's all just entropy. Oh, there really? No Somebody else has a theory time. on that? Good. So I'm yeah, not alone so, in my thinking on that. Hey, well, uh, so, how, can you know how to spell Verlinda so I can look it up? Yeah. So, uh, I will. I posted in the chat right there, Eric Verlinda. So, so essentially, the way he describes. The way he describes things falling and gravity and all of these things is an effect of entropy. It's an it's an emergent property of just entropy, of of information to tend to disorder rather than order. Yeah, I didn't think it's too much common sense for me to think be alone think like that. I mean, because you walk outside, nothing's falling, nothing's floating up in the air until you add, until something happens, like like the heat. Uh, evaporates the water, and then the water goes up in the clouds. You know, if you want to weigh it, you could say that there's billions, or like almost a billion pounds in an average cloud, but it's floating. Okay, the mass is still there, but it's floating. It all depends on what it's in, the temperature, the hip, man. So it's just laws of nature, basically. 
no way to uh, prove uh, the cause for it. It's just the way shit happens. We could call it entropy, but we can't say why that happens. We can't say why well, hot goes well, cold. Just, just, just so there are certain things which we can say how they happen. So here, here's my view on this. Okay, whenever you have a, a phenomena and you don't know how to explain it, you just posit it. You just, you just accept it. Okay, like as a fundamental thing. Fair. You we can, can describe you can, it. I mean, hold we on. can demonstrate hold on. it, though. Brian, Brian, yeah, hold great, on. Great, great. And and then you can, if you can explain other phenomena in terms of that fundamental phenomena, then you say you understand it. So no, the, me, I like demonstration, though, bud. So, I like so hold demonstration. On, hold on, I, hold on. The reason we, that we can say that we understand buoyancy is because we understand it in terms of our molecular understanding of. Of, uh, of, of, of like the kinematic theory of, of gases and molecules, and also gravity. We fully understand it in terms of something more fundamental. Yeah, what goes up must come down. Of course we fully understand it. It doesn't take a genius. No, but no. But, but hold this, on, hold this... on, I'll let you talk. Allow me to respond, please. Uh, my point is, is that, is that um, we can demonstrate, okay, by adding, like with a Van de Graaff generator, and something floating like a balloon floating, we can add, we can switch the, the voltage and the Van de Graaff generator and put the negative up above the balloon, okay, and the, and the positive, and it, it even does it with pieces of paper, like any light shit. And then we add a bunch of bolts and shit, then uh, it switches its natural balance. Same thing with the frequency. We can change the natural balance of shit. We can put air and balance it underneath water just by changing the frequency of things. This stuff Brian. is demonstrable. Uh, gravity, just by saying gravity, calling it a word, is not a demonstration. It's a good description of, of the effect we see. Nothing more. Brian, the problem with that view is that there are multiple things which could explain the same effect. You could have multiple things which create the same effect, and we still have to differentiate which ones do which. Okay? Yes, I will agree with things, that. Fall, agree. things fall when, when raced. If I raise my glass and then I drag it down to the floor, I can't just say, okay, all things that fall to the grand ground must be because I drag them down to the floor with my hand. Okay? You can't do Are that. kind of a cop-out, though, just to say gravity and, and just say that uh, mass attracts mass and, and get right. up there when what you said is true. Yes. And there's multiple causes. I, I would agree. Yes, Brian. And, and, and just to say gravity is a cop-out. If it is indeed gravity, then we need to make predictions, right? We need to use the theory of gravity to make predictions and see if those predictions are true out in the world. And they have done that with the theory of gravity, both with Newtonian gravity, and then eventually it failed, like we found an example where it doesn't fit. And we came up with a new theory that yeah, this but fit. Yeah, words. I like, like I hold said. On, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I want demonstrations. Tell me about some demonstrations, bud. I'll okay. I just want to see demonstration. Sure. So, so if if you look at the precession uh, of the of the orbit of Mercury, that can only be, as far as uh, I know, predicted accurately with general relativity. So, general relativity made a made a prediction also about, like, for example, the lensing effect of stars behind a, like a solar uh, eclipse. It made a prediction. So when, said, I walk in my, hold on, when I walk in my planetarium and I see Mercury up on the ceiling in my planetarium, you're, you're going to tell me that it's gravity making it move across the ceiling of that planetarium. I am saying that the movement of Mercury could not be predicted until general relativity came across. It could not be explained. Gummy bear. Did you, but, uh, you know, that, uh, bear, I have a question. Yeah. One, one second, mate. Kami Bear, I have a question for you. Yeah, what's are you there, mate? It? Yeah, are you there? Yes, I am here. So, the emergent gravity that you have been explaining, it's on the quantum level? We don't know. We think it is. No, and that no, it's absolutely not on the quantum level. It is in none of the math. I didn't it's, it's It's on the quantum level. The you, you mean the Verlinda one? Yeah. Of emergent gravity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is on Show me your math. Show me your uh, math. Uh, uh, one uh, second. It's on the quantum level or not? Shut up. 
it, it's not very well described in the quantum oh, level. Fuck no. off. So what was your theory about how you're going to explain to a flat earther about the gravity? When you talk about the gravity that it's on the quantum level that is put it, implied on the normal scales. Come on. Okay. Come on, smart ass. Shut we up. Don't have- I'm talk about I'm talk about I'm talk about we gummy bear. Not I like this guy. What are you trying to get across here? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not trying to to get a guess because you have you have you have uh, made me full of Donny Kruger explaining uh, explaining weight in gravity, and uh, right now you're you're putting fucking hell quantum level gravity, yeah, emerging gravity, on on on, on an explanation. Can you tell me why you have been doing something like that? Do you think the other people they don't know what what is emergent gravity? Fucking idiot! I, I haven't I haven't started explaining emergent gravity in any way. He asked yes, about. Yes, it was. It no, was. Hold on. What what hold we have on. been talking let, about? Let me finish my statement. Gravity? Let me finish my statement. What happened was he was talking about things about entropy and so on, and asked. No, you have been applied entropy. He didn't apply entropy. I have been here. Do you yes. think I'm? Entropy was simply the word to encompass what he was describing. Things no. equalizing, temperatures equalizing, that's just other words for entropy. Entropy is the collection of these things. So yes, I brought up the word entropy, but it was only to summarize his point. So uh, can you explain to him what is gravity? What is the real gravity? What do you mean? What is you have, real you have, you have, you have, you I have, gave you him... have been lecture us. You have been lecture us on this server. How yes. you gonna explain to a flat earther the gravity? So, so you have right now. You have you have the occasion. Can you explain it to us, please? Thanks. So what he was a- asking for and what we were talking about was the fact that someone had a theory for gravity involving entropy, and I gave him the name of that person, Eric Berlinda. No, and that was the, the end did, of that he didn't, conversation. He didn't, imply, he, he didn't imply nothing like that. You have been suggested entropy as the way of leveling things in, in the gravitation. So, can you carry on with what is the real gravity? Again, I wasn't saying that that is the real gravity. That emergent gravity is the real gravity, so to speak. He, we were talking about entropy, and then I mentioned. Uh, there is a person who tries to explain gravity using entropy, and I gave him the name of that person. That and is I, the end and of that. And I am full on Dunning Kruger, huh? Fucking idiot. You sure are, Dakota. You, 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 you sure you're are. You talk about no set things again, and 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 you you making can, such can, big can, things can, from nothing. You know, you're a can fool any of third shit. person, any third party person, tell me? Have I said? What, what did I do? Anything other than tell him about entropy and, and and tell him the name of that scientist who who proposed that idea did i do anything other than that did i try and lecture anyone on entropic or emergent gravity gravity no i don't i don't know why dakota is upset about this no, he's upset because I'm the other day he was being he was, the he was pro- he ultimate dunning kruger i called him out for it and now he's ass mad about it i'm mm. not you didn't call me out idiot for you, for you for for doesn't know for doesn't so know, for know how to explain things for doesn't know to explain things uh, to, to I a know, man. I remember him on twenty four seven. He's not a fucking Dunning Kruger, yeah. Problem, Dakota, is that you you you're trying to get a gotcha here, but there isn't one to be had. It's sad. come on, I explain to a flat earther the gravity, please. I'm here to hear it. What is your point, Dakota? You're not you coming have the across occasion, very nice You here. have the occasion to explain to a flat earth the gravity. You have been preaches a lecture two days or three days ago. How are you going to explain to a flat earth the gravity? You have the occasion. The floor is you yours. You still don't quite understand what we were talking about back then. So I can reiterate, when it came to space time, I was talking to you and other people about it. And I also said, I don't recommend talking space time to a random flat earther. Because that, that just gets into you have the floor. To, to you, ha- you, have, you have a man to explain the gravity. Why? Why don't you do it in any in, in any circumstances? Because I don't so think your he's way, very, your way to, I don't to, think to he wants me to to like mansplain or whatever explain gravity to him. I don't think that's something he wants or what other people in here want. That's why I don't do it right now. 
No, if he asked he for it, I could explain he he, he, my he was, he was trying for everybody to, and he was taking all the words in the world just just to 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 get a, a, a certain a certain way of understanding the gravity, and nobody had been explaining to him. Everybody was running. But now you were so smart. Why didn't you? No, b because you have been you have been preached us how you gonna teach a flat earther about the gravity uh, f for three hours, four hours. So you no, that, yours, my friend. again, that was how you don't do it using space time gravity. That's two different things. One is the way you should do it, and one is how you shouldn't do it. Show I us how you're gonna do it. About how you shouldn't Show do us it. how you're gonna do it. Show us, please, please. Floor is yours. Are you having trouble understanding this, Dakotas? I was telling you about how you shouldn't do it. I was not preaching how you should do it. So I have I have been un understand that because you talk about emergent gravity, but I don't understand the gravity. Huh? You're fucking full of shit. Yes, you 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 seem to not understand a lot of these social interactions. I'm not sure why you're getting so angry and why you're trying to make gotchas where there aren't none. Well, you know, Gummy Bear, it sounds like you don't understand the gravity of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is. So why did Witsit leave? He just said he has to go. He didn't explain why. He just said, I have he, to go now. And then he left. How, how did you not notice? He's like a spaz like that. Like, how, how did you not notice he was gone? Like, it's quiet. I, I said, up. why did he leave? Not, not did he leave? No, he he did. He only said he has to go. He didn't explain why. He just said yeah, he, my he got arrested, man. man. Sometimes you gotta, you know, go to the bathroom or something, or you know. Well, who cares? It's quieter now. We can actually breathe. There's so much that's said in the Glober silence to the excellent Flat Earth points. Yeah, so good he had to leave. Huh? Yeah, how's his arrest record? Because apparently, I guess, people think it's him. That was the scientist at the... in the video. Yeah. Oh, no, it is oh, him. it was him. It is him. Okay. He'll get one of those good lawyers to get him off. Get him off of what? He'll probably just get a fine and then nothing else. Like a fine of what, seventy bucks? He did get a lawyer. He's, he's actually said that he's going to fight it in court and take it all the way to the Supreme Court so that he can get flat earth taught in schools. Uh, <laughs> shit, you not. <laughs> Good luck on that. Mm -hmm. That would be great publicity. Pleb, yeah, so pleb I don't know how much we'll have. Pleb publicity is right. Most of the court is Catholic, and the Catholics gave us heliocentrism and humanism in the first place, so that may be an uphill battle. Mm -hmm. What's it like? Um, I forget the count. Seven or nine judges. I think it's five out of seven or seven out of nine that are Catholics. All right, can we get back to Brian's ramblings now? Um, this has me totally confused the things that he's saying. I'd like to continue that if nobody objects. I'm really interested in hearing more of the Dakotas, but yeah, we can go back to Brian. Yeah, yeah, by you rambling around words. Very nice. Dakotas, um, I got a question. Your strategy of trying to get Gummy Bear to talk. I this is counterintuitive to me, so I don't understand it. Why would you want to hear Gummy Bear? Because he was lecturing us how you're going to explain gravity to a, to a flat earth. Right, but wouldn't you rather not hear for less me, Gummy not, Bear? Not only me, only me and Vici, what? sorry. Is it less Gummy Bear better than more Gummy Bear? It's more Gummy the Bear. Same, it's the same Gummy Bear. It's nonsense for but me. Less, but less matter. is so much better, though. Yes, it's much better in this case, yeah. It's very true. Less Gummy Bear, more Brian. Brian you Lee. don't like me, Curved? It's not I, about like. Am I not delusional enough for your liking? It's <laughs> not about like. Right now, Brian Leake is the star, and we need to hear from him, because he has confused me. 
uh, what I was just making the point that uh, um, like the Earth is at basically just a certain frequency, which we're at that frequency. It's not nothing we could measure on that scale, but uh, um, and the demonstration for that would be the, um, the them like doing the upside down fish tanks and other things and suspending things off the ground with uh with different frequencies uh sound frequencies uh shaking uh so that's what determines up from down and uh which it pointed out that uh brian there's a wait, question that thing. has to be asked here because you've said it a lot what is the frequency of what is it a sound frequency is it an electric is it an electromagnetic wave frequency what frequency are you talking about it makes no sense just to say the frequency of earth just something like the whole entire earth and everything on it just vibrates. Yes, yeah, so are you talking about a, a okay, mechanical you know, wave? Or are you talking uh, like, what kind of wave are you talking about? I ain't talking about a wave, okay? You know how they call uh let me respond. You know how they say that uh that like the when they're looking at electrons and all that and uh when they're looking down further into the quantum world they say they uh, uh, give it for their model they give it spin, but they say it's not really spinning or orbiting, it's it's more just vibrating. So when you look down, the smaller and smaller you look down to the quantum realm, shit, everything, all matter is uh, is actually vibrating. So you are uh, and that's about what I mean, kind of. That's the best way to describe frequency. Okay, so you're not talking about sound. actual movements, and you're talking about sound, and you're talking about mechanical waves. Not that, not just sound. I'm just saying that's just one way to demonstrate it. But everything is. Uh, wouldn't you Wouldn't you say that at an atomic level and, and smaller, everything is uh, has a frequency? A frequency of what? Yes, everything does have a frequency, so this would be a viable explanation yeah. by mechanical waves or whatever. Well, so Brian, you said, yes, you said frequency, but then you the also question. said there's no waves involved, right? How does how do you mesh those two together? Because my understanding, for my primitive you know brain, is that whenever frequencies are involved, there are always oscillations in something. Hey, it won't let me mute, dude. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, well, look, what I mean is, that how would you, would, would I need a wave to, if I take a sawzall and I turn it on and it, it vibrates back and forth, would I have to describe that as a wave? Yes. Or could I just, could I just say it's vibrating? The, 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 the yeah. displacement that you describe as a vibration is describable as waves. It absolutely is. So something well, well, would be displaced. Or have a frequency. back and forth movement of some sort. Well, when you say frequency, it's just any anything happening a specific amount of times per a specific time scale. It's just a time amount of times per time scale. It doesn't yeah, have it to doesn't... be rotate. It can be rotations. It can be wave peaks. It can be you. That's what I'm trying like, to get him to describe something. something. He just keeps saying it's a frequency. He doesn't say what it's a frequency of. Oh, I would yeah, love yeah. to understand that. Well, what I kind of mean is like, uh, is anything that causes frequency, um, like, uh, like vibration, sound can cause shit to shake. I mean, like whatever causes certain vibrations. I mean, wouldn't you, if you look at shit under the microscope, wouldn't you, wouldn't you uh, agree that anything that has any temperature, any heat at all is in motion, even though we can't see it, it's still in motion. Sure. So that's what determines up from down, and relative density does the rest. And I like the way Witsit uh, kind of tied it in with electrostatics because Witsit, that's what they're leaning there? toward. They're leaning that's toward electro electricity being the only force in the in the uh, universe. Okay, well, well, like, like, which is it, Brian? Resonance. Uh, the yeah, Earth does have a vibrational Schumann resonance frequency, so whatever frequency they're talking about there, maybe that's yeah, giving us uppity downity or whatever. Yeah, what's this about? That's what determines up from down. What? You know, what's that effect, uh, Lemon? What's that effect, uh, the, that one dude who did the, what you call it, effect where he matched the frequency of Earth and, like, bowling balls went up toward the ceiling and, and, uh... Uh, dude, I think Hutchinson it's called the Hutchinson effect. effect. Yeah, the Hutchinson effect. effect. You matched the frequency of Earth. Of electricity, I believe, electricity no. or something to that effect. No, Huge he amounts of electricity used, uh, electrical frequencies used to basically mm -hmm. affect some sort of levitation. The it Hutchison is plain to him well. to do this. The Hutchison effect is not real, though. Yeah, he hasn't been Hutchison verified effect by anyone. It's most anyone. likely real, but suppressed by myopic, closed-minded scientists. So why don't you repeat the experiment, yeah, then? Because no one repeat. has been able to repeat it. 
I don't need to repeat it for me to uh, think that it's true. Get him to repeat it. Uh, hey, you don't need to repeat it for you to think something is true. That's been enough for me you don't to think the military has that technology to demonstrate. Demonstration is when no. something consistent logically. It doesn't exist. Therefore, the military doesn't have it. Okay, it, well, then stay out of it. If you don't even believe it, then stay out of the conversation. I don't they need to stay out of the conversation. So close Thank you very much. And I can how it's my opinion, probable. my knowledge of the situation to tell you that it is okay. bunk. It's not real. It can't be verified. It can't be replicated. And again, it can't be verified. You know, that golden word you guys are always looking for, verification. For people are attempting to this. The golden word is demonstration. It's so illogical and consistent. with the Hutchinson effect and why logically it can't be the case. Shut your rude beak. They just speak their language. They're accepting it because up, logically it makes sense to them. Can you make the logical case for why it can't be the case? Who are you to call somebody fat, Leek? Oh, well, well uh, the main call, thing dude, is you're just turning the conversation, bro. Right? Drama. Uh, people like her now, use listen. drama to avoid you answering know. questions. So just well, press the you, information to see if they have the information or not. I'm going to assume that you don't have the information since you're going to drama over the information. How is this vibration no, determining up and down? That's what I asked you in the beginning. I asked Will somebody please re re to retard so we can have a conversation? All right, let me, need, let me shut up so we can have a conversation. Curve's not interested in a conversation, Wait. and he's just inter interested in an interrogation. Lemon, you're trying to obfuscate everything I'm trying to have. Him. And I took it back to what Brian Hey, fat said. boy, fat boy. If, what, 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 our golden word is demonstration. Okay. Now, when we take a fish tank, we flip it upside down, and the air aligns itself under the water. Okay. Are you going to say that's not real, too, fat boy? Hey, dumbass. Tell me about vibration determining up and down. That's what I asked you about, you retard. Once again, fat boy, flip a fish tank upside down. Get it at the right frequency, meaning vibrate it at the right frequency. Okay, you don't have to add waves to it, just vibrate at the right frequency, and the air will align itself underneath the water. The boat will float upside down. Okay? And amplitude. Don't forget amplitude. Just, just real quick, I like that Brian's calling him fat, but Brian's out of breath after speaking every time. I'm moving well, right. Brian, Brian you, you seem to be leaving out amplitude. That, that's his comment, okay? This is the comment I've got. That's where you're forgetting amplitude, and he's out of breath. That's the comments I get to demonstration. Show me no, no, demonstration. No, right, you're not what have I got in response to my here. question? What have Don't I got worry in about Brian to and discrediting me. Discredit the, the conversation. Discredit the argument, the topic. Show me demonstrations like I, the one I just implied. Brian, I asked you about your statement. You, you called me fat. I don't know where no, that dude, comes I, from. No, dude, I meant you're fat um, now, dude. Lemon's trying to talk, and you're just interrupt, 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 interrupt. Let me like, let's have a conversation right, bro. To begin it with, Brian. It was blatant, bro. It was blatant. You're interrupting him on purpose. No, let me just take him into the conversation to, to back you around. up to it, and you don't want to answer it. And you're pleading for Lemon to obfuscate and run interference for you. Now, aside from this stupid fish tank thing that you don't understand, how does vibration determine up and down? You obese mental midget, go. Oh, he left. Uh, I would have just loved to have no, figured out what is that about. Like. Ask him a question, he calls me fat. What the hell is wrong with that boy? More than either any of us will ever understand. Just about everything is wrong with that boy. Why does why does he want you to flip it when it's just based on vibration? Couldn't you just introduce vibration without flipping it? Here's the thing about it. He keeps saying maybe it's vibration. Uh, the Earth's vibrating. It's like we should be able to detect that. Well, the Earth's so big. How would you detect it? Because the damn amplitude of whatever this is would be massive to vibrate the goddamn Earth. But a, a vibration is a movement, and according to Flat Earth, we can feel all movements. Oh, so, oh, so, yeah. so automatically it can't be a vibration, according to Brian, then. But it is a vibration, because it is a, because it moves. Don't we have uh, vibration testers? Hmm? 
Oh. Seismographs? Uh, yes, we do. What? Um, oh, he said something weird. He said that the frequency goes down the larger the object is, so it just has to be a really low frequency. I'm like, I don't know. If he's trying to float uh, millions of tons of water down or whatever, I think you'd have to have massive Jeez. frequencies. Uh, massive amplitudes and frequencies. And the idea that there's an infinite number of um, of frequencies when it comes to sound is absolutely one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever heard. Well, it kind of. No, I mean it's, yeah, it's not because there's a limit. No, I mean there is a limit. There is a limited um, density in which things can be packed into, and there is a, and you and if there's nothing, then you have a zero bound. So there is a limited number of frequencies. Yes. Yeah. But an infinite number of increments in between them, isn't it? No, he wasn't just speaking in that way. Incremental frequencies is definitely not what he meant by that. They are bounded by zero on one side and whatever the hell it is on the other side. And also, depending on what frequency you use, you're going to start generating heat in the materials. He, uh, the amplitude and the frequency is going to eventually start generating heat, one would think. No, no, no. We, we ignore that. We, we don't explore things to its logical conclusion. We don't do that here. Especially when it comes to the globe. Can, can, we, shift, can we shift gears a bit on the topic here and talk about this embarrassment of the U.S. pulling out of uh, Afghanistan in the middle of the night, just like uh, no. the last chopper out of Saigon? We knew this was happening the moment we went into there, unless we stayed forever. What a waste of time, money, lives. Well, it's, that's not the point. Psychological well-being. That's not the point, Jake. You know what they're going to do? They're going to say this is an excuse to go back. Oh, we got to go back. We, we got we to go back. Uh, there's bad stuff going on. So that's, that's well, their play. That's their play. I don't know. No, that's their play. They'll go back. Okay, well, we'll wait for it. Well, yeah, yeah. If you don't believe me, look at what they've look what they've already done in the Middle East with that. Well, what have they done? No, Jake, uh, just look. Just look at it. Just look at it. Look at it, man. Uh, yeah, they secured the pipeline. They secured the pipeline, which is what they went. Well, that's one valuable thing. No, it is pretty crazy. That's real gas I'm, pipeline. I'm I'm down for it. To uh, I'm down to just ignore it. To be honest. Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, there's one thing that uh, certainly this means: we will not abandon Iraq ever. We will have troops there forever now. Wait, did we put them back? I thought we pulled out a long time. Yeah, we, we yeah pulled out, and then look what happened: destabilization, and then put them back. Well, that was useless. That's exactly know. what they're going to do with Afghanistan. That's what I was just saying. You guys look at me like I'm tart. I don't think we ever pulled out fully from Iraq. Well, we're not pulling. We're probably not even going to fully pull out of Afghanistan either. Probably leave like five. Well, right now, right now they are. Right now, it's fully pulled out for Afghanistan anyway. Yeah, we've we've never, never, anyways, never pulled anyways, out of it'll, Iraq. It'll be the same thing. It'll be the same thing in Iraq. Well, what do you think they should do? Going forward, you should have put me in charge over there. My pullout game's crazy. I, I don't know. Keep bombing. Stuff. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. know. That'd be the cleanest fucking country in the world. Perpetuate Jerry, what they've have, already like, been doing. It's, fuck your pullout game. Your pullout game is weak as shit. The well, bumper no, solution no, is no. to keep on bombing. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. At this point, I mean, at this point, what else are you going to do? <laughs> we should oh, wow. make it. Uh, we should make that's another awesome. territory, a state. Should have right? never been in yeah. there to begin with. But well, that's 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 water under the bridge now. What do you do? Well, I mean, if, if we're so inclined to be there, might as well make it part of the USA, right? Jeremy, I'm willing to bet your pull-out game is so weak, you park on the street because you your ass couldn't pull out of a driveway. Uh, that was kind of weak. Kids. That was weak. One, one, one four step kids, one, one uh, biological. Oh, so you're not fertile. Like, barely fertile. Did you hear about the biological? Come on, that? guys. Oh, we don't know. I mean, that could be somebody else's. Oh, that's Kosho wasn't even in town that. that weekend. 
Kosho wasn't in town that weekend. <laughs> no, he was nine months beforehand. I'm still fertile. I could just walk past your wife and she'd get pregnant. Yeah, I don't know. Afghanistan. Fucking crazy. I say ignore it. What, what's done is done. Uh, if they can't sustain themselves, I mean, fuck. Fuck them. I heard they left tons of stuff. Yeah, but it's like... It's... Uh, uh, munitions. Tons of munitions, supplies, all kinds of stuff we lost. Have you, have you not, lost seen, the, have you not seen the new pictures of them hanging around on our equipment? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's worse for them now than when we first got there. You think so? Yeah, now the Taliban yeah. actually controls everything and has American equipment. Yep. Yeah, they got some good good equipment we left behind, like uh, like real deal Holyfield shit. The fuck is real deal Holyfield? Can you explain that for a sec? Real, real deal Holyfield. It's it means they got the real deal shit, like uh, not those bullshit AKs they're shooting around. They, you know, they got some sophisticated stuff. No. It's real deal, holy field. All you hookers and hoes know how. They're saying like more than. It's Snoop Dogg. Michael, they're they're, saying, they're Michael. saying more than seventeen thousand pieces of equipment in Afghanistan. And... My question is, why are we talking more about that and not about vaccine passports? Which That's Snoop D O double D O, Tony. And back of the limo, no demo. I mean, this is a distraction. This is. Just did you a get? Did you get? Did you get your vaccine bumper? Uh, I choose not to answer that. Why? Uh, you I'll take one for because you. it's controversy if you do, and it's controversy if you don't. But what well, I'm more this is this, this but, channel is all about controversy. Dude, we got all, all people in here. What I'm more what I'm more interested about is how they're able to get away with these vaccine passports. That's what I'm more worried about. That's some silver liberties. There's always been being, it's the same reason why your your boss can tell you. That if you show up in flip flops and shorts and no shirt, you can just send your ass back home. And the same thing for a restaurant. Yeah. You know, you want to wear, you want to come in barefoot with no shirt on. Turn your ass back around and get the fuck out of the door. Yeah. Yeah, but where's my where's, 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 where's my flip flop and t-shirts? Uh, uh, pass. Uh, it, it is it is a stalemate. It is a stalemate where businesses have the choice, and I should have the choice myself. But right, but. I'm going to be overpowered and forced because I'm going to, ha- unless I go out and kill deer every day and do this or do that, you know, and survive another way. You, it's you almost like uh, you live in a society where your actions affects others. Maybe. I think you forget the vaccine passports or permissions to get into other countries. You have, you have no, uh, you have no, uh, Rights according to other countries. You have rights. To well, I think I think Bumper was more referring to the domestic vaccine passport. As oh, far both. as like, now it's they're both. saying they're going like, to. New York is saying. New York is saying that to go to a restaurant or something, you're going to need a vaccine pass. Don't worry, I'll be forced to, you know, or we will be forced to, um, you know, uh, coincide with the plan, and if we don't. Well, then we'll just be chastised and cast to the side. So good, as you yeah, should be. It's, it's like that with uh, not wearing thing. pants or underwear. Like you can't walk around naked and make everywhere you go a nudist colony, right? Like uh, hey, you get chastised. You get chastised for that. Like you can't walk around Main Street and just well, you know, your cock hanging out. Yeah, but this is this is mean, that's not the same comparison. The, how is that not the about, same? It's the government telling you what you can or can't do. You know, they're saying the you better wear you you better wear you know underwear and pants and Ooh, socks somebody, and shoes. Somebody's getting mad. Somebody's getting yeah. heated. No, it's mad. just it's just what I don't understand is the government tells us what to do all the time nonstop. And this is no different. It's like you guys are acting like the government because doesn't tell us what because, to do all the time. Because, Jake, it's putting something into your body that you choose to or not choose Bump, to. Bumper. That's Bumper. where the difference is. It's almost like Bumper. kids don't need vaccines to go to public schools. Yeah, I was about to bring that up as well. No no one gave a shit about kids requiring vaccines for public schools, but now that you're an adult being uh, told you have to get a vaccine, now it's oh, a Oh, no one, no one cared? You don't think I didn't care? No, I don't think you did. I did. That's why they gave, they got the base, the basics of the basics and the the true test of one. Right, you follow the rules and now they can go. Good job. Yeah, you know, it's all fun in games until something happens and you have some neurological problems or something happens down the road. 
It's so almost, like, it's almost like you have no idea what you're fucking talking about. So when you talk you about it, I don't know what I'm talking about. There are, there are things the that cause problems. problems. The inevitable uh, COVID, the, the inevitable COVID sure. uh, uh, infection causes sure. neurological damage. And a large percentage of people, not small, very large percentage. And the way that this is going to become, you know, just an intrinsic part of our life, Everyone is going to get it, ultimately. It's just absolutely unquestionable that ultimately everyone is going to be infected at some point. Just like everyone's gotten the flu or the cold at some point. Yeah, they, Papa, they, you, they, uh, they left you... it out. They let it out. Hang on. They let it out of their little laboratory, and now we have to deal with it the rest of our life. Bumper. You're, you're right. so retarded. Bum bumper. Not retarded. Can I, I can ask you a question, Bumper. Do you drive? Uh, yes. You drive. So you're quite happy to uh, have a driver license and registration, right? I know that's what they put yeah, in. but you're not going to equate it to the same thing with what yeah, your yeah, analogy well, is. Well, you're, you're not being forced to drive, are you? But you're quite happy to get a license, but you're not happy to, quite, yeah. you're not happy to get a that's, get that's my license. That's my risk assessment, yes. Oh, all right, okay, all right, okay. So okay. You, you're, willing, you're willing to accept one but not the other? Uh, yeah, because one is different than the other. How are you not denying that one is different than the other? And I I'm haven't well on, on my bets. Please remove the welts on my bets. Payments are being made to Dark Stars EEF fucking organization. Three more payments to be made. So please stop with the welching on your bets. And actually, Jeremy, you probably owe me 50 bucks because you started that whole conversation that day. Hey, real quick, Mavit, you're a hot miking. Mavit. Listen, I can't be held responsible for bets that you make, all right? Yeah. No, you goaded. You goaded me into it. I need I need. I didn't know. Bets. Well... What was it? What was Take it about? Take that bet, Take that bet. Are you a Nothing, big boy? Doesn't matter. Are you a big what boy? I yeah, forgot what was going on. Uh, it, never mind, Jeremy. <laughs> I just knew you were here, so I figured I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please elaborate Sorry, what the difference is between a COVID passport and a driver's license? Um, one requires you to take a an injection. And the other one just takes a mental smarts of a test and physical ability. That's yeah, it. Shit. Yeah, shit. Both, uh -huh. both of them are optional. Smarts. Both of them, both of them it, are I something... I agree that they're both optional. That's, that's, not, the, that's point, not the yeah, argument. That's, that's, that's not the point. argument. The argument is that eventually you'll be forced to do something and put something in your body that you may, agree, may, or, may agree or disagree with. That's my no. point. No, what do you mean no? You will, be, you will be allowed not to take the vaccine. You exactly. will just be restricted in what you can do if you don't. It, it, exactly. But but then eventually, yeah. so, so eventually without, you'll so be without, So without a driver license, legally, you can't drive, right? But nobody's forcing you to drive. And nobody's forcing you not to drive. Yeah. So exactly. hopefully, <laughs> hopefully there will be a grocery store chain or something civilized and civilized cities that I can go to that will accept me. Oh, we'll so no, 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 no. uh, can you can you not get uh, you, grocery, you mean like grocery get, delivery? Yeah, I was just going to say grocery. I delivery. mean maybe maybe deliver. grocery delivery yeah, will delivery be the way and pick up. I mean it's yeah, very yeah. possible. Quite quite I think quite they'll be I mean, quite happy we'll, delivery. We'll have to see. Have to see. Or it's almost like you have or, options. Same as car. Like you can use so the you have a, so you, or you can ask your friend to to, to drive you, right? Exactly. And you have options for now. got the shot. To, to that was my point. Some. That was my point of the driver license. Thank you guys. Thank you for filling in. Appreciate it. Yeah. Anyways, if you're making the point that you anyway. have options, sure, I could agree with that. I'm not disagreeing with that. So nothing is being. But but you're gonna have to do things out of right. the abnormal. You are gonna have oh, to do yeah, things exactly. out of maybe the abnormal. The, the reason the reason why the reason why I brought. Hard. Driving a car is normal. If you refuse to take the test and refuse to take out a document proving that you have taken the test, you will be inconvenienced. You will not be allowed to drive a car. Sure. That, that, be, that, that is something yeah, but that's, that's still normal. It proves the status of like competence and physical ability to do something to not endanger others or yourself. And that, that's exactly what the with the vaccine passport does it no, proves mental no. competence to not endanger others uh, no it pr it proves that you 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 feel you know you want to just put something in your body you don't want to put something oh in your body. i'm sorry you failed yeah. the mental competence part of that my bad <laughs> well hey uh, what, you know what you it's my it's my body my choice right? what, ha what, ha what happened to that i what's, mean what's i understand the, the risk are low 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 to take it what's, and i understand um, the risk are 
whatever the risks are to get COVID what, to begin what's, with. Uh, what's, in the vac- what's in the vaccine that you're afraid of exactly? Uh, I I don't know. Maybe maybe just you don't know. the fact. Maybe the fact that I'm just uncomfortable that it's been rushed. Right. So I don't you, know. Don't, you don't know what's in it, but you're afraid of it. Yeah. Uh, so, sure. Yeah. Why not? Wait, excellent. So how is that not a logical? Hold on, let me let me. How is that not a logical? How is that not a logical observation? Well, you, okay, logic- well, well, what would be the next step then is to find out what's in it? Was you don't know what radioactive material is. Do you go and touch it? <laughs> because we know it's radioactive, but that's, well, you don't know. What if you don't know? What if you just because you just declared it's radioactive? Oh no, okay, but if you don't know, if you don't know what a chemical is, you're going to go and touch it. You're going to sniff it. Well, then you go on. I'd find out what the chemical was to see. Oh, oh, oh! Well, let me just get on there. And let oh, me say, give me a bottle of your vaccine and let me put it in my microscope. Oh. No, no, you physically find out.